Welcome back to the Atlanta Falcons franchise, everyone. I'm your host, Husker Eurocat, and today we come to you from First Energy Stadium, where we wait a clash with the Cleveland Browns. The Falcons are coming off an ugly loss to their division rival Buccaneers, need to right the ship to stay above 500 ball, and keep in step with the Saints, who sit at the top of the NFC South. The Browns are coming off a two-game win streak, but need to keep pace with the Steelers at the top of the AFC North. Atlanta's rush defense is going to be tested in a big way with the duo of Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt, who I would expect the Browns will use early and often. They've been a big part of Cleveland's success so far, and I wouldn't think that a good thing would be changed. On the other hand, the Falcons are without halfback James Cook for the next three to four weeks, recovering from an abdominal tear. Can the team of Bryce Love and Jerry on Ely help keep Atlanta's very young offense on the field? Let's find out as we prepare for the Browns and the Falcons here on the MMC Broadcasting Network. Cam Taylor Britt is back deep for the Browns and Cade York gets us underway here in Cleveland. Taylor Britt takes a knee in the end zone and out to the 25 it comes. Nick Chubb is given the ball on first and 10 and he is tripped up by Justin Matabike. Now out of the shotgun, the throw over the middle. Jarvis Landry with the grab out at the 25 yard line. Ooh, check that at the 35 yard line for a first down for the Browns. Now another pass and another reception, a nine yard pickup. Allen Robinson is just shy of the sticks. Back to pass and it's intercepted. Taking it back the other way is Isaiah Oliver and he has a touchdown. A 48 yard pick six to start the game. I'm sure that's not what Baker Mayfield had in mind, but hey, it put the Falcons on the board early in this contest. The ball intended for Jarvis Landry and it never got there. Oliver being congratulated on the sideline by his teammates. A job well done. Now the Browns again from the 25 yard line. Second and 10. Mayfield back to pass. Completes this one over the 40 yard line. Chigo Okonkwo makes the first down grab. Now from the 42. Pass is complete for an eight yard gain. Austin Hooper with the reception and they're gonna give him nine yards on this. Up the middle goes Chubb and inside the 45 yard line at the 44. Now, second and 11. Mayfield throws deep wide open in the end zone is Garrett Wilson. Mike Hughes was hot on his trail, but way too far back to have any meaningful impact. And that was an easy one for Baker Mayfield. Just throw it up and hit his intended target in the end zone. I'm sure that's what the Browns would have liked to have done the first time around, but that just didn't happen. Now seven to seven as the Browns close up the gap in a hurry. Now it's the Falcons from the 30 yard line and a first carry by Bryce Love is only two yards. And that was a beautiful pass out to Geronimo Allison on the sideline. And that is a first down, second and 10. The pass out to Hurst, and with some tough running, he gets, oh no, they're gonna call him short. So third and one, the handoff to Love, 
has a lot of room inside the 40 yard line of the Browns. Now from the 36 out of the shotgun. Dropping back to pass, Corral has all day and finally finds Kyle Pitts over the middle and inside the 15 yard line. First down, Falcons. Now from the 11. Fake handoff, the pass is complete. Russell Gage is stopped at the seven. Second and six. Handoff to Love, takes it to the two and a half. Doesn't get the first down, so third and inches. And they don't give it to him on third and inches. Bernard McKinney now with the Browns makes the stop. So that brings out Cade York. And he puts up a 23 yard field goal and it's good. That gives the Falcons the lead 10 to seven. Mayfield hands off to Chubb, has room and is out past the 30 yard line. Second and three. Another play, almost the same thing. Big yards inside Falcon territory to the 47 and a first down. The Browns are on the march again. Mayfield under center. Fakes the handoff, throws over the middle, complete. Jarvis Landry has the first down. So at the 28 yard line, give the ball to Kareem Hunt. And he has, he has a six yard pickup just inside the 23. Hooper with the reception on that one and he rumbles his way inside the 20 yard line. First down and inside the red zone. The give to Chubb and he's inside the 10. Uh oh, he's down on the sideline being attended to and hopefully he will be okay. Now from the eight yard line. Hunt takes it inside the five and that brings us to the end of quarter number one. With the Falcons on top, 10 to seven. From the three, Hunt spins his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Cleveland. And with that score and the extra point, Cleveland now takes a four point lead into the second quarter. After a Atlanta three and out, Chubb is back in there, takes the handoff and is over the 35 yard line for a six yard gain. Now to the I formation. Chubb with another carry and fights his way to the 41, just shy of the sticks. And this time, it's a pass. Mayfield connects with Robinson and he takes it just inside Falcon territory. First and 10, pass for another first down to this time Jarvis Landry. He takes it to the 35 where Nick Chubb takes it inside and down to the 30, well, almost the 29 yard line. Outside goes Chubb for a first down and he's inside the 25. The Browns are driving the field and the Falcons don't seem to have any answers right now. That one is complete to Robinson inside the 10 yard line. Second and seven. The pass complete in the end zone. Jarvis Landry. Hesitation on the part of Isaiah Oliver made that possible, but a pretty pass 
to Landry in the end zone. Puts the Browns up 21 to 10 in this contest. Now Sun second and nine. Pass over the middle to Pitts. First down out past the 35 yard line. And now the Falcons need to answer before halftime. The pass this time is complete. It bounced out, they say, after he had the first down. So now on third and six, the pass is complete. Delbert pulled that one out after Gage was down, and they give him the first down at the 41. Pass this time is complete to Allison this time. Eight yard pickup, so second and two. Play action pass, and this is complete, and Pitts takes it out of bounds after picking up the first down at the 29. Corral on the rollout, looking downfield, throw short though to Bryce Love, and he is tackled at the 21. Now on third and one, the pass over the middle, sails over the hands of Russell Gage. Now fourth down, they're going for it. Corral in the backfield, can't find an open receiver, throws it into the end zone, and it's almost intercepted. John Johnson the third got his mitts on that and didn't allow the touchdown. That brings us to the two minute warning. And the Browns are up by 11 in this one. After a holding penalty, the Browns are backed up third and 16 and Oh no, a face mask penalty against the Falcons, Kirby Joseph. And that lets the Browns out of the shadow of their own end zone, all the way out past their own 36. And Anthony Walker with the big sack on Mayfield. And now it's third and 17. Up the middle goes Chubb. Stopped well short of the first down. And that brings us to the end of the first half. With your score, 21 to 10, Browns. Now let's go to Eurocat Baby with a halftime report. Welcome to the Madden Franchise Halftime Report. We'll get you back to the action in Cleveland in a moment. In other action around the league, the defending Super Bowl champion Dallas Cowboys have taken a 17-6 lead into the halftime as Dak Prescott has thrown two touchdown passes on his way to a 146-yard first half. It is worthy of note that former Falcon Matt Ryan has thrown for 134 yards but hasn't been able to get the ball in the end zone yet. In Green Bay, the Packers, trying to get over that 45-28 loss to the Vikings last week, have made a good start by pulling out to a 17-3 lead approaching halftime over a struggling Detroit squad. Although Aaron Rodgers isn't playing outstanding football to start the game, the defense has one pick six already in the contest. Last week, we made reference to the season-ending injury to Christian McCaffrey, but we needed to inform you that there were a couple of more season-ending injuries that we didn't report on. From the Steelers camp comes the report that safety Terrell Edmonds has suffered a torn Achilles tendon. And from the Bengals defense, linebacker Drew Tranquil has suffered a complete PCL tear. Both are going to be missed by their respective teams as they recover from reconstructive surgery. This just reminds us that this is a very rough sport. Injuries do happen despite the safeguards that have been put in place. Let's all hope for a safe recovery. Here in Cleveland, Atlanta is doing what they can to keep up with a dominating Browns team. Have they made the changes necessary to come back for a win here today? Stay with us to find out, because we'll be right back with the second half. Welcome back to First Energy Stadium here in Cleveland. 
Despite an early pick six by Isaiah Oliver, the Browns are up by 11 heading into the second half of play. The Falcons have a steep road in front of them and stopping the Browns rushing attack is at the top of that priority list. Can they make a comeback? Let's find out as we get set for third quarter action. After a false start penalty, the Falcons have it at their own 24 yard line. Second and 12, the pass short and out of bounds, caught by Jerrion Ely. Now out of the shotgun, Corral, a quick pass. Oh, almost intercepted and bounced back into the hands of Geronimo Allison, but not enough for the first down. So the Falcons have to kick it away. Chubb. Takes this one outside the 30 yard line to the 34 for a six yard gain. Chubb trying the right side of the line and is stopped by Foye Aluakun. Third and three. Pass, short dump off. Austin Hooper with the first down out of bounds. And that was terribly close to a late hit out of bounds by Brisker. And Mayfield with another completion to Robinson at the 49. Third and four. Another pass and another completion. Did he get the first down? Yes, Harrison Bryant gets a first down. And here there is Mayfield working his tight ends a lot in this game, throwing deep into the end zone, and that is incomplete. So third and 10, Mayfield back to pass, throws short, Kareem Hunt, and that one is well short of the first down sticks. The Browns have to give it back, but inside the five yard line. The handoff to Bryce Love, a big hole, out past the 15 yard line and that is a first down for the Falcons. Now on second and 10 from the 17, out of the shotgun, Corral over the middle, completes this one to Geronimo Allison, a nine yard pickup. So third and one and it's almost intercepted. That one intended for Russell Gage and Ronnie Harrison just drops the interception. Nick Chubb now takes it to midfield. That gives him a five yard pickup. Now Chubb is the lone setback. Gets the handoff up the middle. Is stood up, but still gets a four yard gain out of it. So, the offensive line of Cleveland is doing a superior job blowing the defense off the line of scrimmage. The pass sails out of bounds and it's the Falcons ball, but after a three and out, it's the Browns again. Robinson with the reception inside the 40 yard line of the Falcons from the 38. They give the ball to Chubb again, ripping off another chunk of yards and a first down all the way to the 23. Once again, it's Chubb taking it outside to the right and down to the 15 yard line, a nine yard pickup. And I would think that there would be a heavy dose of running. <laughs> that it was a pass short to Kareem Hunt complete inside the 10. So it's first and goal. Chubb inside the five. Second and goal from the two. Pass complete. Austin Hooper. Touchdown Browns. 
Cooper with a little button hook pass. The route was so simple, and Aluakun just couldn't catch up to him to make that play. But after a missed extra point, it's Cleveland 27 and the Falcons 10. That one completed to Russell Gage for a first down. Out at, out at the 42. Corral back to throw, completes it again to Gage and this time inside Brown territory at the 42. 44 seconds left in the third. Corral back to pass. And he just couldn't find anybody open. And Miles Garrett gets to him in the backfield. Now second and 17. Almost the end of the third now. Bryce Love to the 41. Brings us to the end of the third quarter with your score 27 to 10. But the Falcons trying to make a, their way down the field. And this is completed to Allison and out of bounds at the 21. He picks up another first down after a false start penalty. Falcons are backed up to the 26. Pitts. Makes the reception inside the 15, so second and three. Love with the carry. Did he get the first down? Yes, they gave it to him at the 11-yard line. Now carrying it to the right side. He is gang tackled at the 11. After another false start penalty. From the 14-yard line. And the pass goes out the back of the end zone. Burrell just had nowhere to throw it to. That brings on Cade York for a 31-yard field goal, and it's up and good. 27-13 is your score. Now on second and nine, the Browns from their 27-yard line. The pass out to Wilson. For a short game, third and three. Mayfield bootlegs left, throws complete. Okonkwo has the first down. Now from the 37. Hunt takes it out to the 47 and is he ever hit? He hangs on to the ball and is just short of the sticks. Chubb taking it left with plenty of room and out past midfield into Brown territory at the 48. Now second and 10. Pass complete and dropped. Landry fumbles the football and is picked up by Rashawn Evans. There you see Isaiah Oliver ripping it out of the hands of Jarvis Landry. And the Falcons are in excellent field position at the 40 yard line. The pass is intercepted. Jeremiah Uwusu Koromoa with the interception and he takes it back to the 34 of the Falcons. And that pass way off the mark. Corral just trying to make something out of nothing at the moment. Too bad because he had a running lane if he would have just let his legs carry him for another first down. There Chubb takes it for a four yard pickup. Pass complete to Robinson to the 26. Third and one. Mayfield back to pass and this is incomplete. Fourth and one and Cleveland is going for it. Chubb looked like he got it on second effort but they called him short and it's back in the hands of the Falcons. 
Corral definitely struggling today. Only 19 of 32 attempts. And this is complete anyway to Ely just uh, tackled just outside the 31. Second and three. And up the middle goes Bryce Love for a first down out to the 40 yard line. Second and seven. Corral can't find anybody open, starts running in, slides his way to midfield. Mark just shy of the stick, so it's a six yard play. A throw long and overshoots his intended target, Christian Kirk. Fourth and one. Back to pass, and he's hit as he releases the football, and it falls harmlessly to the ground. Now, after a Brown three and out, the Falcons have it again. And it's completed over the middle. Ely with a five yard pickup and it is the two minute warning. Third and five. Out of the shotgun, Corral. Throws this one and Kyle Pitts can't hang on. Out of the shotgun again, the throw downfield and it is caught by Christian Kirk at the 47. Pass coming up again. Oh, Corral can't find anybody open and is sacked. Miles Garrett again. Pass short this time to Pitts over the 40 yard line, but well short of the first down. Third and 12. Long pass complete. Kirk out of bounds. At the 17 yard line, a 38 yard reception. Now on second and 10, Corral with some time, finally can't find anybody open and throws it out of bounds. With a shotgun again, pass this time almost intercepted. Damn, Taylor Britt got his hands on it. Now on fourth and 10. The pass over the middle is complete to Kirk, and he muscles his way inside the end zone. Touchdown, Falcons. The only problem is, is there's only 33 seconds left on the clock. Kirk with a nice move that gets it in the end zone, but I would expect that if the Falcons have any shot at this, they're gonna have to go for an onside kick, and they do. York kicks it, and out of the pile comes Fabian Moreau, and the Falcons have the football at the 46. Corral back to pass, and it's intercepted. Osuu Koromoa with his second interception of the day. Pretty much puts an end to this one intended for Christian Kirk. And it, he just jumped in front of that pass and that was all for the Falcons. The Browns hang on for the win in this one, 27 to 20. Unfortunately, the Falcons just couldn't string enough good plays together to make a real comeback effort. With that onside kick recovery by Fabian Moreau though, there was a brief moment of anticipation that made for serious hope coming down the stretch. The sadly Corral, in an effort to make a lot happen in the time left, well, he only had 33 seconds, he threw that interception and that ended the game. Regrettably, the running game of Atlanta just didn't have that same spark as with James Cook in the backfield. With just 69 yards on the ground, 
it was apparent that Cleveland had the Atlanta running game figured out. We saw an awful lot of plays where the Browns were almost flocking to the ball carrier. On the other hand, Chubb and Hunt did a good job of tag teaming a Cleveland running game that kept the Falcon defense guessing on the play call throughout the game. In the passing attack, aside from that initial glitch, it seemed that Cleveland could do no wrong. Well, <laughs> in the first half anyway. And by halftime, the Browns had amassed a solid lead. In the second half, the Falcons' defense held the Browns to just a single score. Corral did a good job of leading the Falcon offense to making a solid run at a comeback, yet when it came down to the fourth quarter and the running attack just wasn't getting the job done, he tried to make things happen through the passing game that obviously had some very bad results. Now comes the next challenge for the Falcons as they fly into Charlotte to face their division rival to the north, the Carolina Panthers. We'll get to see if Matt Corral can rally his team as they face another team that has lost their number one running back as well. The Panther defense is ranked at number five in the NFL, so the offense that has fallen now to number 21 will find this challenge a big one indeed. The defense will be tasked with stopping, well, whoever takes over for Christian McCaffrey, that is, whose season has been ended due to a complete PCL tear. Will the defense be up to that challenge? Well, that's going to do it for this episode of the Atlanta Falcons franchise on the MMC Broadcasting Network. Now that Atlanta has fallen to 2-2 two and two on the season, can their rookie quarterback take them back to a winning record despite having a questionable running attack to depend on? To find out, be with us when the Falcons descend upon Bank of America Field in a division rivalry showdown in Charlotte. Until then, for Eurocat Baby and the rest of the crew, this is Husker Eurocat saying so long for now, and have a good day, everyone. <laughs>